This is for fifth grade ELA, text set seven, literary language. The essential question is who, how do you read writers use literary language to enli enliven their writing? Our goal is to um, notice and respond to the author's use of metaphors. Do you think where we live in, is an easy place or a hard place to grow up in? What, why do you think so? Today we're going to read a book by a writer who has some strong feelings about the place where he grew up. The book is called If You're Not From the Prairie. The author, David Borkord, thinks the prairie is a pretty unique place. Let's hear why. you're not from the prairie. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the sun. You can't know the sun. Diamonds that bounce off crisp winter snow, warm waters and dugouts, and lakes that we know. The sun is our friend from when we are young. A child of the prairie is part of the sun. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the sun. So can you hear the way the author is creating rhymes? Listen as I read. What rhymes did you hear? Diamonds that bounce off crisp winter sun, snow, warm waters and dugouts and lakes that we know. The sun is our friend from when we are young. A child of the prairie is part of the sun. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the wind. You can't know the wind. Our cold winds of winter cut right to the core. Hot summer wind devils can blow down the door. As child, we know, children, as we know when we play any game, the wind will be there, yet we play in just the same. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the wind. So, have you ever felt the sun or the wind? Of course you have. So why do you think this author is telling you that you don't know how the sun and the wind feel? If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the sky. You can't know the sky. The bold prairie sky is clear, bright and blue. So sometimes cloud messages give us a clue. Monstrous gray mushrooms can hint of a storm, or painted pink feathers say goodbye to the warm. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the sky. The writer says cloud messages give us a clue. What cloud messages can you think of? What do you think the author means by painted pink feathers say goodbye to the warm? If you're not from their prayer, you don't know what's flat. You've never seen, seen flat. When travelers pass through across our great plain, they all view our home. They, they all say the same. It's simple and flat. They've not learns to see it's particular beauty that's now part of me if you're not from the prairie you don't know what what's flat if you're not from the prairie you're not you've you've not heard the grass you've not you've never heard grass in strong wind summer winds the grains and grass bend and sway to a dance that seems never to end it whispers its secrets they tell of, of this land in the rhythm of life played by nature's own hand if you're not from the prairie you've never heard grass have you ever heard grass making a sound what do you think it may, might sound like So you're not from the prairie, and yet you know snow. You think you know snow. Blizzards bring danger, as legends have told, and deep drifts are rough house, ignoring the cold. At times we look out a great sea of white, so bright in the sun that we squeeze our eyes tight. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know snow. Does anyone ever? Does everyone know the word blizzard? Blizzards can happen in many parts of the world, not just on the prairie. So why do you think the author is telling you that you don't know anything about snow and blizzards? If you're not from the prairie, you don't know our trees. You can't know our trees. The trees that we know have taken so long to live through our seasons to grow tall and strong. They've loved and they're tre treasured. We t watched as they grow. We knew they were special. The prairie has few. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know our trees. Still, you're not from the prairie, and yet you know cold. You say you've, you've been cold. 
Of all these memories we share when we're old, none are more clear than that the hard, bitter cold. You'll not find the, among us a soul who can say, I've conquered the wind on a cold winter's day. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know the cold. You've never been cold. If you're not from the prairie, you don't know me. You just can't know me. So this page is a little different. The author has turned from talking about the prairie to talking about me. Who is me? Do you think it's impossible really to know someone who grew up in a different place than you did? You see, my hair's mostly wind, my eyes filled with grit, my skin's red or brown, my lips chapped and split. I've lain on the prairie and heard grasses sigh. I've started at the vast open bowl of the sky. Sorry, I'm st I've stared at the vast open bowl of the sky. I've seen all those castles and faces and clouds. My home is the prairie. I cry out loud. If you're not from the prairie, you can't know my soul. You don't know our blizzard. You're not, you've not fought our cold. You can't know my mind, nor even my heart, unless deep within you there's somehow a part. A part of these things that I've said that I know. The wind, sky, earth, and the storms, and the snow. Best say you have, and then we'll be one. For we will have shared the same blazing sun.